A very, you know, high-profile example uh, that we've had in recent history was the U.S. government's decision to invade Iraq. Um, they fell into six of the classic decision traps. So the first one was uh, to neglect key stakeholders, in which case um, public opposition was ignored, and key military analysts that were warning that the plan wasn't going to work were ignored. Those were key stakeholders. Um, the second one they fell into was to prematurely commit to a solution. There weren't really other options considered. Um, you know, even, even the option of letting the um, UN inspectors take their course was pushed um, because there was th that was the preferred solution. So that was the only one that was on the table. Uh, a third one was, is the misuse of evaluation. Having decided on your solution, then you have to produce the evidence that this is the right idea. So you misuse the process of data gathering. In this case, it was weapons of mass destruction. So the public was sold on the, I the idea that this was necessary because of weapons of mass destruction. And rather than let the evidence sort itself out with the UN inspectors, they went in on the grounds that this had to be done because this was the intelligence was there. Now, we know after the fact that it wasn't there and that the evidence was uh, manipulated and massaged in order to, to build the case. So that's a classic case of misuse of evaluation. Um, another one was railroading the decision. The decision was framed in terms of um, you're either for us or against us. So there wasn't any room for actual dissent and debate and, and really looking at the facts because it, became, it was framed in terms of an issue of patriotism and loyalty rather than an issue of what's a rational decision in light of the world circumstances and, and the reality on the ground in Iraq and the U.S. resources and so on. Uh, another one that they fell into was uh, this uh, creating a consensus that was, that was false or weak. So in the decision-making process, they didn't invite in a range of opinion. The, the circle of, of, uh, of influence was pretty small and limited to people who were already on board with that solution and people from the outside who were saying there's problems with this solution or it may not work were ignored or marginalized in the process. And finally, the last decision trap they fell into was denying um, or covering up warning signals. So in this case, it was um, prematurely, prematurely declaring victory and ignoring evidence of, a, of an emerging civil war. So now we can see years later in hindsight that the decision was much more problematic than we were told at the beginning. But many people saw prior to that that this was a problematic decision. The debate didn't really happen properly because it became uh, a, a slinging match of, of rhetoric and, and questioning people's loyalty rather than looking at what's the right decision in, in light of all the circumstances.